Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. This is part two of how to create lighting fixture sailing base. And in previous video, we learned how to create this lighting fixture, which is adjustable and we can move lighting like this. Okay, in this video, we are going to learn how to um, model a frame around this lighting so to do that we need to go to here I mean you can choose um, these elevations but you can also use new view because this is a bit messy and we can work easier here so again we need our references I like one here and one here I need to just something like this because I want this part to be a bit longer so I can attach my frame to here so I'm going to create another one here other references okay this side and this side now we are going to go to create tab and from extrusion the rectangle Draw a line here and we need to block all four sides of it. Okay. After that we need to go here and with offset create this one. We don't need to um, just fix and lock these lines. And okay, go to reference level. Actually, here this might be easier. Floor plan reference level. And we are going to just fix this. We can let it be like this, but also we can just move this back so we can have much better one. Then we are going to just, uh, we need to copy this frame in four elevations, so we are going to copy copy this to just find the best measure and size for it I think this might be okay okay yeah that's it again copy this 
just make sure when you are copying this click on pay place and fix your center it's because it might be different from these two frames center so now that we have this and it look pretty cool after that we need to just fix these four frames to this one so when we change our height all of these move together so we are going to reference level again and we extrusion we're going to create a rectangle here it's okay if it have overlaps with this frame because we are going to join all of them I'm going to leave this here because I can't see my reference level from this view so from here this is our line that we created I'm going to first copy this in different sides and then I'm going to lock this in these lines so yes I can use mirror and I click both select both of them and again I'm going to use this one place Is here this is what we had created I'm going to change their color so it will be easier for us to find them this view again and I'm going to lock all of them and you can see here I'm going to lock them between these two lines so I'm going to click align and my reference line comes here and lock and for this line as well I'm going to do this for all of them can see and it's here let's find okay these are our reference lines and this is the one that we couldn't fix them let's see if we can fix them now this is yes it's working so let's test it for the last time and yes it's moving and it's working
here. Perfect. I understand it might be confusing uh, when you are going to try this for the first time. It might don't fix. It might. Um, I don't know. Lots of errors might come up. But if you try a few times and uh, you can create this, it was hard for me as well. And also another way that you can lock these lines uh, together is that you do the same that we did here. I told you that there's also another way and it's this go to annotate and uh, lock these lines. I mean, you want to fix canopy and you want to fix bulb holder, so you can just do this and just don't lock this one, okay? Let it be like that. You don't need to turn it to a parameter or anything else. Just um, um, use this uh, annotation for this part and let it be. And also you can use it for here and also use it for here this I know that these are places that might be hard to fix so you can do this and this way it will work as well so don't worry and try this few times I'm sure that you can create this as well if it was useful for you please let me know in the comments and also if you want other kind of frames or other kind of uh, families or tutorials please uh, write down for me and subscribe and don't forget to like this video and yes that's it uh, hope you liked it and thanks for watching bye